Hi guys, it's Irene Sprays and I am back with another video. All right, you guys, so let's get right into it. So I previously dropped this video um, one day ago and I felt as though the content didn't look as good because I was trying a different um, editing app. So I had to redo the whole video over and do the voiceover over again. So here we are. All right, guys. So again, we are doing some large knotless braids. I am using Shiny Jam for my parting and of course my Irene Sprays Precision Parting Comb to clean up those parts. Um, we are achieving the large knotless look with curls. Um, I did not get a picture of the um, curls. I had it, but then I think I deleted, deleted the um, content by accident the video by accident so please forgive me but I what I was mentioning is that I got the curly hair which is human hair from Etsy and it came with three bundles and um, it costs about $300 but the hair that I purchased was not for this look it was for a different look however we had more than enough to share so we will be using that curly hair in this tutorial as well all right, so when it comes to doing these particular size knotless braids, you want to make sure that your braids are falling in place. That way it can have some type of coverage. Because they're bigger, um, you wanna make sure they're not too, space, too spacey because then it will look just like really stingy and not enough braids, right? So this is a cute look and I've seen this look a lot um, on so many different celebrities. So I think it's a great style, but you gotta know how to part. So what I mean by that is, is you see how I just parted out that part just now? You want to make sure your parts are falling like a brick, brick layered um, pattern and not up and down on top of one another. So the parts that you're making should fall in between the braids underneath it and they should not line up. Does that make sense? So as I'm showing you here, the braids are pretty much gonna going to fall in between one another because of how I did the parting. So if I were to start my part directly up underneath the part that I already did, that's a no-no. You don't want to do that. You want your part to be offset it away from the um, the part underneath it, like so. Okay, so. You also make sure you're parting away from the part underneath it so that way the squares can look nice and the braids can fall how they should, you know, lay. All right, so with that being said, I'm going to take a little bit of my even um, pomade gel and I'm going to just apply a little bit of that towards her roots um, so that way the braids can lay nicely. And I'm going to begin my braid. Now, with the braid size that I'm using to add into the hair, I want to say it's about pinky size, no more than the index. My index finger um, is the amount that you're going to need to start off with. And I continue with that same size and I gradually keep adding more and more and more until the braid gets to the consistency that I'm looking for. So the size of the braid that you're looking for is how much you want to continue to keep adding in until you get to that desired size braid. So I'm going to take my index and my thumb finger. I'm going to hold on to the left the left um, leg of the hair and then I add in the extension hair between my index and my thumb finger and I'm going to braid that in and I'm going to continue to keep braiding until I'm ready to add in more hair and how I know that I'm ready to add in more hair is because I can feel it. You can feel when it's time to add in more hair because it's going to feel like it's less than so then in your head you're going to say okay I need some more hair that's when you want to add so another trick to doing this method is to count you can add in a piece of extension hair and then count one two three and then add and if you feel like you'll need to add just yet keep going until you feel it and when you feel it in your fingers then you go ahead and add a piece of hair and you continue to keep doing that till you get to the size that you're looking for all right so with that being said let's just continue watching and i will be back to explain more
So I always get a lot of questions um, in the comments about how many braids to add in each row. Um, I always say this in all of my videos and I'm going to just say it again just to make sure that um, I don't miss this part. I don't count the braids guys. I don't. Um, everyone's head size is different. So I don't feel that you should count your braids and I don't feel that you should know how many should go in each row. If you do that, you will mess up. And the reason being is because if you have a bigger head, you're going to need more braids. You just will. And so if I tell you to put five braids in a row and your head is bigger, your braids may come out looking a little bit more stingier. So I would say go off of the, the format that I showed you as far as parting. Um, and as far as doing that brick layered look, go off of that. That way your braids will come out consistent and they'll come out beautiful. You don't want to go off of how many braids per row because it's not going to look good, guys. So that's just one of the things I want to throw out there. And then also, I just want to go back over what we did. So my first two rows, um, I did them straight across. And then as I went above her ear, I started to do my U-shape parting. So with that being said, um, try to do, you know, two rows in the back if you can. It's sometimes if a client's head's bigger, you have to do three rows in the back. But once you get above their ear, then you can start U-shaping. So that's kind of of the... Um, the uh, formula I would go with, you know, as far as in how to know when to start U shaping because everyone's head size is different. So once you reach above that ear line, um, ear line, then go ahead and start U shaping your parts. Okay. So yeah, so pretty much that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and complete this row here and then I will show you guys how I do her middle part with this particular style. You can style these left um, for a left part. Um, the right part, a middle part, of course, in a ponytail and in a bun. And it's just an easy, carefree style. I want to say this style could last someone about five weeks. Um, it shouldn't be no more than six.
make sure that when you're doing your middle part to make sure that your lines are consistent and then line up whatever you did on one side make sure those lines match up on the other side so that way your middle part is perfect okay so when it comes to adding in the curls you guys um one of the things that i want to tell you is to make sure that you are using some type of product um to add to the hair to break it in now you can use synthetic hair if you like or you can use human hair i chose to use human hair um when it comes to the boho knotless or the, not knotless but like the boho braids period and you want to add the curls throughout the braid you want to use human hair you do not want to use synthetic hair because what that's going to do is become a netted mess so when my clients book this service um especially with boho service they have to use human hair i do not allow my clients to use synthetic because i don't want to take the time to do that hard labor just for them to turn around and say that the style didn't last because of the curls so for me personally with my services my clients do not have the option to bring me synthetic hair for this particular look um when it comes to boho but with this style that we're sh that i'm showing you here this one's just adding the curls on the end so i don't care if you do human or if you do uh, synthetic because it's not going to be a big of a deal so i like to go ahead and tease the hair with my fingers a little bit uh, take out all those little white strands red strands that you see through the hair take all those out if you can then i add a little bit of product to the tip of the hair and i go ahead and braid it in and when i braid it in i braid it in um, tightly so that way that i know that it's secure and you want to braid it past the actual um, synthetic hair once it's braided past the synthetic hair braid it a little bit more that way you know that it's in there and that it's secure i don't use any glue i don't use any knotting i don't do any of that just braid it past all of that you'll be fine the braids will be fine the curls will last now guys don't forget to hit the link in the description box to book with me or book a class um, don't forget to leave some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about this style. Let me know if there's any other requests that you may have or any videos that you'd like for me to start posting. Um, her braids came out wonderfully. She's on her way to vacation now. And guys, please remember, as always, I appreciate you guys so much for watching.